particularly when I'm doing concepts that have high cognitive friction. Um, as I'm going through it and I'm doing an explanation, uh, I can illustrate it. And that's also the tool that I use for writing with, which uh, I'm terrible with the regular digitizers uh, because I have to write in one place and look on the screen to see what I'm doing. But with this, um, there's, there's two or three versions of this. This is the one I ended up with. Uh, I tried a couple of others, and the reason I ended up with this one is because when you are writing on it, it's the same aspect ratio as the screen, and it comes with a, basically a USB cable and a pen, which is like a digitizing tablet pen, except it actually has ink cartridge in it. And so when I'm writing, I can be looking at this paper as I'm writing, and there's a couple of advantages to that. Uh, one is, uh, you know, I'm looking at the paper and it's much easier for me to write than when I'm trying to, you know, look at a screen and write with a digitizer and then I go off the edge of the digitizer and I didn't notice. That can be very, you know, jarring when I'm in the middle of trying to explain something. So I can write on this. It has a secondary advantage, which is, again, I like things that are reliable and can't fail. And one of the things I've discovered is paper 1.0 Pen 1.0 and Eyeball 1.0 rarely crash, require updates, or have other nasty characteristics. So that's one of the backups, right, is I've got the paper. So even if the technology fails completely, I can still, you know, write on the paper. I can, you know, use that later or whatever. Um, that, that's just m much more valuable. And it, and it works on PC. It works on the Ma my Macintosh. And it also works on a Linux machine. It's pretty much just a, a USB cable connection to my computer. And it, it works pretty much the same as a mouse. In fact, most of the time, I also have my uh, wireless mouse plugged in because some things I find are much easier with a mouse. And so I usually have both plugged in at the same time. Um, that allows me to, to point and click with the mouse when it's easier and use my digitizing tablet when that's easier. So typically, the way I would use this in class is you know, maybe, as in this case, I've got some code. Uh, for a programming class, uh, which I was doing this morning, and I want to, you know, I want to mark it up. Uh, so I can, I can simply pick. In this case, it's just paint, but uh, I can pick whatever tool I want. Um, some people prefer. I've noticed uh, OneNote, which is okay too if you use Windows. Uh, but whatever tool you use, um, you want to make sure that you're comfortable with it and that you use it a bit. Um, so in this case, then I can do things like, oh, you know, I've got this, I've got this variable called counter. And I can write that on there, and I can put a little box, and then I can go through and just basically go through and say, okay, you know, counter starts at zero, but then, oh, well, it changes to one. And I can be drawing pictures and circles and arrows and things, pointing out, you know, where we are. In this case, it's a programming class, and I want to go through with the students and explain what it is we're doing. So if I've got some material that's already on the screen, that kind of prompts me and gives me something to start with. So in this case, it's a program, a very simple program. And then I can also draw things freehand. So you know, I can you know, do my little block diagrams and whatnot um, over on the side. This gives me basically the same ability as if I'm writing on the whiteboard, but I have the advantage that I can have pre prepared material already on the slide or whatever. Um, and this works uh, with uh, PowerPoint. It works with pretty much anything that can use a mouse, uh, from what I can tell. Uh, if, if the software will allow you to mark things up with a mouse, then you can mark it up with this. And obviously, much easier to handwrite than it is to try and write with a mouse, which is horrible. So you know, that allows me to you know, emphasize things. And you know, I, can, I can circle details. Um, and when I'm actually trying to write something, though, I can write directly on the paper, and I don't have to worry about uh, you know, is my pen in the right place? Uh, I'm one of those people that I, I, I can sort of write with a regular digitizing pad where my, my hand's writing over here and my eyes are pointed at the screen. But uh, frankly, I'm just not that coordinated. I have a hard enough time keeping my thumb out of my eye. So um, the general concept is trying to take what I do normally, which is write on a whiteboard or write on a piece of paper when I'm talking to somebody, and translate it into the classroom environment and this works, I use this all the time now in my live class, even though I really started with it for the online courses. I found that the, the students in the live classes really like it. So I'll take these recordings, I'll post them on Blackboard, and then use them as an example. Uh, and then the students can, can rewind to me, especially with those difficult concepts.